another piece of interesting cybersecurity news and my winner for most confusing stock image of the day. This guy is wearing, <laughs> let, let's analyze this just for a second. He is reaching for a bunch of staticky TVs while wearing his military pants and plugged into a bunch <laughs> of cables, which seem to be plugged into the TVs, maybe? But that's just like really cool cybernetic hair. I don't know what no, he's doing though. I don't, <clears throat> this is great. I just want to say thank you to whoever makes these stock images because this one is really good. So anyway, uh, caffeine, sir, caffeine is a service that allows people to launch their very own Microsoft 365 phishing attacks. And it does this by being a FAS, which is a new term meaning phishing as a service. So these sorts of platforms allow people who are not very technically skilled to take on the technology necessary to launch fairly sophisticated attacks against other users. Now, uh, typically users will pay a subscription for this, but this particular platform is a lot more full featured than some of the previous versions that have been available. And also you don't need to know someone, it's not through some secret telegram chat, there's no code or password to begin doing this. Anybody can sign up and start doing actively malicious uh, campaigns against somebody else using pretty sophisticated tools. And again, this is a very feature rich platform compared to some of the previous ones that have been out there. So not only is the barrier to entry incredibly low, but it has like kind of a like honestly great like dashboard. This is like better than some like services that are legitimate um, in terms of like looking at your balance, active scan, like it really kind of lays out how these campaigns, um, you know, work and makes it really easy to understand what's going on, even for someone who might not be very good or very familiar with cybercrime. You can even see they've got their news update stream. Like it is um, a very sophisticated organization. So this uh, currently is going for about $250 per month, $450 for three months and $850 for six months. And that is roughly twice the subscription cost of several competing FAS or phishing as a service. I still can't get used to that name, um, platforms. So while this is more expensive, it definitely has much better support and has a lot of um, interesting targeting options, including the ability to target Chinese, Russian, and other victims that typically aren't really included in these sorts of platforms that tend to focus on more like Western targets because, you know, I guess they have the money. Um, <clears throat> so some of the features are mechanisms to customize dynamic URL schemas to adjust uh, to assist in dynamically generating pages pre-populated with victim-specific information, making it easy for them to make these pages look very legit and very real. First stage campaigns to redirect uh, pages and final lure pages, and then IP block listing options for geo-blocking, CIDR, range-based uh, blocking, etc. So honestly, I feel like some of the campaigns I've been coming across in my own research have been linked to platforms like this, where I will try to examine this using something like, um, like OWASP Zap, and uh, or I will go to the final page more than once and it will display a completely different page or drop me off mm. at like a, an innocuous like sales uh, page for like a, a major website. So what's interesting about these phishing platforms is like you'll get an email, you'll get a, an SMS, you'll you'll click on it and it'll take you to you know the malicious thing that's trying to do something very bad. But if you were trying to go, if you were to send it to somebody else or if you were to examine it or if you were to look at it again, you only get to see it once. Or sometimes it can block list you know, certain IP addresses so that it's not possible to see the content anymore if you're from a specific region or if you've already opened it once. So that makes it harder for people to reverse engineer this or see exactly what's going on because like doors are basically shut behind you um, as you access this from an IP address. So it, it's some really interesting things you can do with this to make it harder to analyze and harder to detect who is using this platform. Uh, another interesting thing about this is it tends to have its own feature set uh, and tools. So rather than needing to use your own Python or PAP based email management utility to send these emails out, you can just use theirs. So they have um, other scripts that can help you send things out, manage your like email scams uh, that are going on. And this is all included with that price. So that is why it's, it's kind of thought they are charging so much more than other phishing as a service platforms. For one, the barrier to entry is super low. Their technology is very sophisticated. And it seems as though this is going to be a precedent for other uh, types of cybercrime organizations trying to basically sell the tools of the trade to people who are willing to pay and then take on the risk of running their own campaigns. Meanwhile, the software developers make a ton of money and are exposed to virtually no risk. So for them, this is a very smart business model.